Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Carmichael. I am a colon and rectal surgeon and chief medical officer at UCI Health. Uh, wanted to wish you all a happy Doctor's Day. For me, you know, when I when I when I when this day comes along, I think about how grateful I am to be able to participate in the care of patients. Um, and that is made possible by, by thousands and thousands of people around me and around other doctors. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm grateful to be a doctor, but I'm also really grateful to all those people who make it possible. So uh, that would go from nurses, pharmacists, administrators, techs, support staff, uh, creative people who uh, work in patient experience, and and we're thank and, and speaking for our doctors, we're we're thankful for all of you, and and it really gets broad. At some point, you have to think about the administrative staff, the people in the cafeteria. At UCI Health, I have uh, nine thousand coworkers and growing, and and you know, as doctors, we we really do understand that we wouldn't get the privilege to do this uh, without all of you, and and so. It's Doctor's Day, but it's, it's also sort of time to be grateful for all the, the people that help us be doctors. And so uh, thanks very much. Thanks for uh, giving us the privilege to, to do what we do and all the rewards that come with it every day. Thank you. So nice to have the opportunity given to me by the Patient Safety Movement Foundation to think a little bit about Doctor's Day. Actually, a great opportunity for me to stop and reflect, uh, which maybe I haven't done often enough in recent years. I've been involved in the profession of medicine now for a handful of decades, and I see very big changes happening in the profession for the better. I think my initial motivation to go to medical school was mostly about the love of sciences and learning more about medicine in general. And of course, that involved interacting with patients and that was very enjoyable. But frankly, in those early years, now we're talking about three and a half decades ago, medicine was a very doctor-centered profession. And I think as physicians, we at that time were more managers of healthcare or directors of healthcare. Uh, and now I see these changes happening in which the role has evolved to the point where new learners coming in with the desire to be physicians are more of the mindset of being service individuals, service in their provision of health care for others, or team members in the delivery of health care. And those, of course, are very positive changes because they involve the patient and their families and the patient's goals and take into account the various challenges that patients have as individual human beings when, when working along the expectations of their clinician or trying to follow the orders of their clinician. Greetings, I'm Dr. Dan Cole, an anesthesiologist and president of the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation. We are celebrating National Doctors' Day, and I want to thank you for all that you do each and every day for our patients. Medicine is a helping profession. What greater fulfillment of purpose could there be than helping another human being at a vulnerable time in their life? I liked everything in medical school and actually had difficulty deciding. I ended up applying to anesthesiology and family medicine but chose anesthesiology because of a profound connection that occurs between the patient and the doctor regarding trust and patient safety. When I entered anesthesiology, there was a huge gap in preventable harm that has been closed, but not eliminated over the decades that I've been in the profession. And 
this gap was appealing to me because it was an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. This gap continues to this day throughout healthcare. We as a profession aspire to close this gap and we will through your efforts. There is an old saying, thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle. You can be that candle. And again, my thanks for all you do. Hi, I'm Karen Molander. I'm an emergency medicine physician practicing in Northern California. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to have this career for many decades at this point. Uh, the reason I decided to go into medicine and more pertinently emergency medicine is because I had a very sick mother from a young age, age five. Uh, and I don't think I saw the the push to go into medicine until age 13, but still pretty young in my lifetime. And the reason being my true north was to be able to advocate for my mother, to advocate for my patients, to advocate for my loved ones. And I think that is what drove me from trying to help my large hospital system with their sepsis program into going out into the community and teaching EMTs, paramedics, the importance of the signs and symptoms of sepsis and led me to become chair and now past chair of Sepsis Alliance. And it's driven me to work with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in trying to help patients advocate for themselves and their loved ones. I think during the pandemic, we lost a vital team member in that patient care community, and that was the patient and their family members. And we need to incorporate that extremely valuable team member back into the healthcare team. And I'm hoping with patient safety movement, we can do that. Hello, my name is Sandip Gadambi. I'm the chief medical officer at Chuck Children's in Orange County. Uh, I first of all want to start by giving a heartfelt thank you to Joe Kiani and the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Your contributions to healthcare have been truly invaluable. Mr. Kiani's guidance on our hospital board, especially our board quality subcommittee, has really been a beacon of wisdom. Now, in my role, I'm fortunate to be surrounded by individuals who have a deep-seated passion for both scientific exploration, serving others, and also improving our communities. Growing up in an immigrant family surrounded by scientific inquiry, I naturally gravitated towards studies in biology and math. I was fortunate uh, to have fantastic research experiences, as well as eventually finding my way to a clinical career in pediatric emergency medicine through stops in Boston, as well as Memphis. Now, for the past 15 years, I've been immersed in improving improvement and safety sciences, blending a dedication to patient care with a commitment to advancing healthcare delivery. I feel incredibly privileged to be part of a field that holds such transformative potential for our communities, working hand in hand with our patients, their families, whether it's for me, whether it's mentoring aspiring young professionals, trainees, or instilling a sense of empathy in my own children. I'm constantly reminded of the profound impact that we can have as healthcare providers. We're not just healers, we're also advocates for hope and resilience. And this is only going to happen in partnership with our patients and our, their families and organizations such as the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. With that, I say happy Doctors Week and also thank you Patient Safety Movement Foundation for all that you've done. Hello, happy Doctors Day. My name is Grant Lindy. I'm the CMO of Anesthesia Service Line for HCA Healthcare. Today, March 30th, is a particularly momentous day because its origins is actually from March 30th, 1842, when Dr. Crawford Long performed the first ether anesthetic in Jefferson, Georgia. Dr. Crawford Long started a long legacy of improving perioperative care for our patients. This effort, combined with the effort of, of many, many other insightful and, and leaders within the field of anesthesiology have led to advances including pulse oximetry to capnography and a place where we are providing care that is unparalleled compared to any other time in history. 
Despite all these improvements, this isn't the time to stop. This is the time for all of us to embrace the idea of zero patient harm. We need to understand and continue the legacy of Dr. Long and all the other physicians that work for us so that we can provide safe care, care where our patients come to the hospital and they aren't afraid of, of anyone making mistakes. And using this and using the techniques of process improvement, really looking towards a better tomorrow for all of our patients, our communities, and our families. So thank you all for your hard work and your dedication to making tomorrow safer.